flashback GT. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, you know the ginger tom, Steve Skew's pattern. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I go out fishing with him a lot, and I'm always like trying to do each other. So this, this I, I, honestly, I promise you, this catches loads and loads and loads of fish, <laughs> and all sorts of fish as well. It's, I've, I've had some really nice dace on it, and all sorts. So we're going. It's nothing that exciting. It's just. So we've got a size 16 grub hook. Two, I'll do this quickly. I'll try to. More he's less speed. Yeah. Two and a half mil um, copper tungsten bead. So I'll just hold on to the hook right on the eye to expose the point. And then rotate the bead until I can see the little hole and stab it through. You can, I've seen people, you buy them, you get like the little special bead pliers and that. Yeah. But I'd say one really good tool for manipulating beads and getting them on hooks is a blob of blue tag. Just get a blob yeah. of blue tag and you can, that just yeah. works really well. Quick question. One for the car. Yeah. Uh, as a, as a rule, break out amongst these, this of here. When you're putting the bead on, They've got like a conical hole in, in one side and a flat hole in the other, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so the, which if, way around do they go? You've either got a recessed bead, yeah. which this is, where it's got a big hole on the back and yeah. a small hole on the foot. So you, right. put the, you put the point of the hook through the small hole. Right. So the small so hole the is, the is at the back. <laughs> yeah, so the big hole's at the back. Right. Or you get slotted beads where they've got a tiny <coughs> hole or a slot in the back. Yeah. So you've got sort of tie in. Copper rib. Can't find the end, so I'll just snap it. <coughs> and some 14th of an inch pearl mylar. See, I thought, I thought with this, I thought the um, ice blue pearl would definitely work better for the grading, but it doesn't. The pearl works better. Ordinary, just ordinary pearl. Because I thought that blue's got more of a like a pinky sort of shine to it, hasn't it? But this pearl is much better. So he normally puts a, he normally put a tail on these, but even Steve himself says now that he, he doesn't bother putting tails on them. So here is the dubbing that um, Steve Skews has bought. Um, he's basically bought all the supplies up in America. You can't get it for love nor money anywhere. <laughs> but it's basically just ginger rabbit. So this is, um, I think this is just a, a sedge um, sort of larvae. This is what, what the fish think it is. So. So just a nice neat ginger body and then some of this life cycle for a thorax. So you've got to try and keep your abdomen dubbing nice and sort of tight and the thorax dubbing you want it to a little bit looser if you can, so it breathes a bit more into the <coughs> leggy. Mm -hmm. So, it's more comfortable in terms of that, behind the bead. No, it's a wrap here. Let's try and keep the flashback on top of the... No, I've done that wrong. Look at this one. Just do the thought the abdomen, then catch in your pelt. Make sure it's on back on the back of the shank. What you've got to do always do a turn of rib just on the bare hook first, then creep your way up. Nice open turns. Check that your flashback is staying on the back of the hook shank. to the top, tie that in, 
Right. And when doing the wire rib, I try and hold the thread taut so it's under tension, and then just worry that off. And it snapped in the wrong place. There you go. And we're keeping, keeping the pearl on, so the pearl is going to be a flashback on the thorax, so it's going to be like a flashback all the way up over the thorax and everything. So we do that again, wind that on. And then you can see on this, the, the, um, the varnish thing, the varnish trick on the thread, this is definitely where you, you use it more often because it's, when you finish a fly like this, how do you get the varnish down in there? So we just run the thorax cover over that. Try and pull the thread tight so it pulls it down. This is the tips on that. If you're being anal, because I've got tan thread, I've got a brown marker to sort of match. If there's any bits of thread showing that don't match in with the thorax, I'm just darken the thread a bit. Garnish on there. <coughs> Not the greatest, but you get the idea. But this is a just the, the the pattern is in his book, with ginger tom, obviously. But the, that's the best work. The flashback one works really well. Well, they both work really well. It's a really good fly. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. It's not much to see, but you can see the flashback. And so I didn't. If it's slightly on brighter days, I don't know. It oh, just yes. just pings out at the fish. I don't know, but it definitely works really well. Thank you.